this video we are going to look at the unnest operator in BigQuery in SQL. If you look in the docs, the unnest operator takes an array and returns a table. And we'll try to see how that works. So here we have a select statement, select star, then from unnest, we specify the array in uh, which is in square brackets inside the parenthesis right here. So the array has three values 10 20 and 30 the 10 value is at index 0 20 is at index 1 and 30 is at index 2 so when we are specifying as numbers the output that we'll get will have a column heading of numbers or when these values are converted into rows in a column and additionally we have with offset specified what that will do is it will create additional column next to uh, this column where the indices of the items in this array would be listed we run this in the output down here we should see so here's the array that was converted into number uh, into rows so we have 10 20 30 and uh, we have the offset column which has the indices for each of those items in the Next, uh, we can run, we can also create that column without specifying any column name or without specifying with offset. So, if we run this part, we would simply get one, two, three in a column, and this is the default column name that is specified F0 underscore. Now, uh, so far, what we have had is uh, we have an array converted into uh, rows or a column. What we can now look at this, I thought this is different. That's the repetition earlier. Here, instead of one column, what we'll do is we'll create more than one column. So we'll, we are creating two columns. The first column would have numbers 1, 2, and 3. Second column would have numbers 11, 22, and 33. And the last column would have the strings x, y, and z or z. And if you notice, we have the array inside of these square brackets, and then the values in row are inside the inside the parentheses as we see. So we uh, so this if you are familiar with Python, this would be like a tuple where we have uh, the values listed. Now, when we run this particular line of code, we should see three columns created. And as we expected, we have three columns. The first column has the values 1, 2, and 3. Second as 11, 22, 33. And the last column has x, y, z uh, values. In. Now, if you were to, uh, if you need to add Tables to the columns. There is another way we can structure this using struct command. We'll look at this uh, in further detail coming up videos. So here we have the select star from unnest, and this is the array that we have, which was the same array, similar to what we had here in the square brackets. And we had two column values for two columns. So first column is a float, second column is a string. And the first row would have value 1 and dog, 1.0 and dog. Second row would have a value of 0 0.3 and cat. Now, what we are doing here is within this angle bracket, after the word array, we are specifying what type of uh, data is in each of those columns. So we are specifying the word struct. And again, inside another set of angled brackets, we have x which would be the name of the output column and we specify the data type so this is float 64 and again the name for the second column that would be created from this particular uh, from this dog and cat the data type in this particular case would be a string now when we run this particular line of code we should see two columns x and y as we have here and the first column has values 1.0 0 0.3 second has dog and cat if we were to add 
names column names to this line of code it would be a uh, same similar to what we have uh, right now so let's create another code here six and what i'm going to do is simply copy this and paste it here inside of the unnest uh, open close parenthesis and then here we have a uh, three columns, so we need to specify three names uh, for columns here and along with the data type. So let's call this x1, x2, and then the last one is string. Now, if we run this particular code, you would see three columns x1, x2, and a last column y, which is that. Was it for this video? We'll continue this discussion on. Uh, unnest using struct in please like share and subscribe thank you